going on, Falcon fan? It's your boy Ricondo. Come back at you with another video. So today we're gonna highlight. You know, you know, I had to go with the Georgia Bulldog. So we're gonna highlight some 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 players in this draft. So we're gonna talk about Jamari Salyer from a Georgia boy, straight from Decatur, Georgia. All right. Before we get into that, guys, today please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Please hit the notification bell so you know when I drop another video. Please hit the like button so I know you like to hear what I talk about. Then please share my video throughout the YouTube universe so more people can hear me come come in and hear me talk about these Atlanta Falcons. So like I said, guys, today I'm going to talk about Jamari Salyer, the um, University of Georgia National Champions. Jamari played four years um, with the Georgia Bulldogs. He played every position on the offensive line. So... He has a lot of versatility. Believe it or not, in his four years, he only gave up one sack. So just put that in perspective. One sack, 6'4", 321 pounds. Um, and, of course, everybody know about the video went viral when he pancaked the presumptive, uh, presumptive number one overall pick, Agent Hutchinson, in the semifinal national playoff game this year. Go back and look at that. He was playing left tackle at the time, but it's a grown man. 31 um, bench press at the combine. Did not do all the other stuff. One of his, one of his main issues been injured, so he need to make sure that he get get in a good um, training program, get in the gym, make sure he work with the trainers, and make sure he can stay healthy. But of course, the scouting combine. I mean, the this the scouting report on on Jamari is about he's stiff. Um, doesn't have lateral quickness. He's not very athletic. But I can tell you this. If you're in SEC for four years and you only give up one sack, that says a lot. So, um, of course, some people just don't test well. We all know this. Some people just don't test well. Um, but you have to, that's why you have to look at the film. Look at the, look at the tape. Look at the film. So, definitely, he probably go down some draft boards because when scouts do it, they go by what the test say um, about the the ceiling and how good this guy probably could be in in the draft. I mean, in the in the NFL and things like that. But when you go look at the tape, the tape can really tell you a lot. Like I said, playing in the Southeastern Conference for four years, uh, only allowing one sack. And, it, and of course, everybody know about Georgia how they, how they love to run the ball. Our passing game has not been um, something that. The, like some of these other prolific passing games um, teams in the NCAA, but um, we we definitely been a good running team here at Georgia. So um, I just say um, definitely he could he can definitely be a depth pick. At the worst, he can ha ha um, bring competition to the offensive line, especially somebody like Jalen Mayfield, somebody that struggled last year, um, got better during the year, but he he would really struggle. Um, moved from right tackle to left guard. It was, a, it was a real big struggle for him. But bring somebody in like Jamari Sawyer in to help um, for Jalen have to compete with, and that could be a good DLP added. Like I said, he played all different positions on the offensive line, so um, you probably can plug and play him anywhere. But he can play tackles. He can play guard. Um, that mean he played center as well, so... Um, I don't think we need a spot for a center, but if anything, we could take somebody with the versatility of a Jamari Sawyer, um, bring him, bring him in, and have him compete with offensive line with other offensive linemen on the team. Uh, senior, so I mean he has a lot of leadership. Um, he's been there a long time. A grown man, strong. Um, if you look at his wingspan, um, sometimes his sets. A, a little slow, but I think once he, like I said, once he get training, good coaching with some NFL or offensive line coaches, um, I think he could definitely be a, um, or at least a good solid backup guard coming off the bench, an emergency, and could be, a, could be like a swing tackle as well. So, um, I'm I'm projecting him to go probably, um, Late day two, maybe early day three, but um, if the Falcons were to get this big man here, 
Um, it'll definitely help our offensive line. Uh, we definitely need to bring competition to the offensive line. You guys seen um, we, we we was not able to run the ball as well as we wanted to last year. We we did have a couple, uh, I think like a three-game stretch where we definitely was able to run the ball a little bit better. But we need to be more consistent. We know that's what Arthur Smith want to do. If you just go back to his Tennessee teams, you know he want to be able to run that ball and then do all the play action and control the clock. So uh, I think it's very important that we can get this offensive line right and start to establish that run, 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 uh, ground and pound like Arthur Smith want to do, um, especially when we have a um, – running quarterback like Marcus Mariota because you can implement him to the running game as well and we could we can definitely have more you know clock control the clock a little bit better um, I just like that I like that it's, it's going to be a different going from a prolific passer like a Matt Ryan to a, a ground and pound um, ball control game control kind of offense um, and I think that's the direction this team is going to be going in so but anyway guys please go out and look at Jamari Sawyer Sawyer and let me know what you think about him could possibly be a pick on um, staying home with the Atlanta Falcons here in eight in seven days one week away by this time um next week the Falcons already be don't make their pick at number eight and we all will be like good pick or we all will be like, damn. So we just have to see what happens. <laughs> so, guys, please go ahead and look at Jamari Sawyer and let me know what you think about him being a potential pick for the Atlanta Falcons in the 22, 2022 NFL Draft. And it's your boy Ricundo. Come back at you with another video. Peace.